Hey, TikTok. Let me show you guys something. A lot of times when you pick a trailer up from the yard, you know, I always talk about tandem because it's the main thing you will have to deal with. You see those two wheels? They are your tandems. And usually they will be slid all the way to the back, but you can't leave the yard like that. So you will have to pull a pin. Let me show you the pin. You will have to pull this pin You will have to pull this right here. You literally just pull it out and you see how those pins already went in. That's easy. But a lot of times, if a trailer has been sitting for too long, these, these pins on both sides, you see how I go in, you see how I go out. What airs up those pins, even your tires, those tires got hoses on it. What airs it up is, you see that blue? You see the blue line? That's just the trailer brake, the trailer airline. You have like this, this rig, this rig supplies air to the trailer for brakes, you know, for the tandems to slide. It keeps air in the tires. But like I said, you have it to where to, when you have it to where the, the pins won't go in you can even rock back and forth on it literally go and drive and then go in reverse and you'll hear it go in but if that don't work you will have to charge the system up with air because the air is what pushes the pin out and the way you charge the system with air is like this is your truck like this tractor this is your truck brake this is your trailer brake so basically you push that in and then you gas it you gas it however long you need to gas it and when you do that gas it for at least like gas it for at least about five to ten minutes five to ten minutes of airing up those tandas most of the time it works to where those pins will go in so recap two tricks that can get stubborn pins to go in is rocking back and forth on it meaning going drive in reverse or it needs to be aired up because you can hear there's no air in the system all right guys